Well, that, you know, I, I want to talk a little bit about that uh, in terms of what that message was and how we, we really, uh, is it fair to say by doing that, uh, instead of reaching out and, and bringing those nations in, we did the we had the opposite effect, which, which really was contrary to our own and the world's interest. Well, it was the worst thing because what happened was the very simple message out of Iraq is: if you don't have nuclear weapons, you get invaded, and if you do have nuclear weapons, you don't get invaded because we didn't invade the Soviet Union, we we didn't invade China, don't invade China, or now Russia. So. And we did invade Iraq that didn't have them. So there is that message. And then one of the issues that I've had is I don't think that the Bush administration is necessarily unilateral. I mean, there are countries that they work with. What they are is unidimensional. They have been very focused on one part in Iraq without seeing enough of the regional context or thinking about other parts of the world, like Africa, for instance. And let's talk about other parts of the world. When you look at U.S. foreign policy, uh, there are some very serious situations in other parts of the world, which, which it appears, at least uh, on first inspection, uh, the United States has really neglected. What, what are some of your concerns in, in some other areas? Well, frankly, across the board, I'm very worried about Africa. Uh, I think that very minimal attention has been paid to them. Um, obviously, Darfur is the one that has seized American interest to some extent, but still, I don't think we've, we've done enough. Uh, we have not cared uh, that much about what's been happening in Congo, where actually more people have died, and a number of different places in Africa. I uh, salute the Bush administration for having added more money on HIV-AIDS, but um, I don't think there's been enough interest in the economic aspects uh, of life in Africa, trade. Uh, and additional assistance. I also think we haven't paid much attention to Latin America. Uh, and uh, one of, we see what's happened there. I mean, in many ways, democracy is under a lot of stress. Uh, we have not really paid attention to the, the uh, tra free trade of the Americas. There have been some bilateral agreements. I, I could go on. I mean, mostly around the world, there hasn't been that much attention paid to a lot of other aspects. Well, certainly we're devoting a, a tremendous amount of attention, military and other resources, to Iraq. And, and, and that's been our, our focus. Should we make a plan today to withdraw from Iraq? What, what do you think we should do with <coughs> Iraq? And, and starting, starting off with the withdrawal issue. Well, first of all, I think that um, we, need, we can't stay in Iraq. Uh, we are not the kind of a country that's basically an occupying power. So it's an anomaly in the way that uh, America has operated. Uh, the paradox is that we are both the solution and the problem. The biggest issue in Iraq is security. Uh, and without American forces there, there would be even less security than there is. On the other hand, we also are like a magnet for the insurgents and those who hate us. So we have to figure out a way to get out. Uh, we have to make clear that we do not want to have permanent bases in Iraq. Uh, and we have to figure out how to train up more of the Iraqi security uh, of their police and their military. To do that, we need help. And I happen to believe that the Europeans should be helping more. Are they willing to? Well, not as much as they should. I, need, I think they need to be pressed. I've been in Europe. I've said something to them which is not exactly popular. But I said, you know, I'm the surprised you'd say anything unpopular. Well, I may, you know, I. Uh, but I said to them, you know, the U.S. didn't start World War One or World War Two, but when we saw that it not only affected them but affected our national interest, we went in and uh, helped them and turned the tide. The Europeans did not like a lot of what happened uh, or any part of Iraq, uh, but I would imagine that it affects their national interests more and more. They're closer. And so I think they need to help us. And I think we need to make a plan to leave. I personally have not been for setting a specific deadline because we did that in Bosnia and we, we said we'd leave in a year and then we couldn't. And so that hurt our credibility. But we need to leave and we need to also get the regional groups more involved.